Welcome back to our series on refining, upscaling and editing videos in Comfy UI and Animate Diff. In the previous video you learned how to refine videos with Animate Diff and Control GIF. In this new video you will learn how to use video to video with different Animate Diff models to achieve great consistency. Stay tuned. You will need to use the following custom nodes. They can be downloaded from the manager. Download Real ESR Gone from the manager. Realistic Vision and Epic Realism from Civit.ai. For refining, we will use PIA and Animate LCM Image to Video. I leave the links to the models in the video description. These models give excellent results for video to video. Please install them in the folders indicated on the top right of the screen. Let's get started. Place a load video upload model and select the helicopter video we generated using Video Cog X. Add and resize image node. Connect the image of the video loader to the resize image node. Set the width to 720 and height to 480. Connect the video frames to a VE and code node. To this, connect also the VE from the checkpoint loader. Select Realistic Vision as checkpoint. The output latent from the VE and code node is connected to the case sampler. Place now a use evolved sampling node from Animate Diff. For the moment, we connect the output model to the case sampler and add standard uniform context options. In this refining method, we are going to do video to video using Animate LCM image to video during the first sampling step. To M models we need to use Apply Animate LCM I2V model. We add an Animate Diff model loader and select Animate LCM image to video model. For this model, we need to use also the Animate LCM image to video LoRa, so add a LoRa loader model only node. Connect the checkpoint to the LoRa loader and this to the use evolved sampling node. Select the Animate LCM image to video LoRa. To apply Animate LCM image to video, the latent input needs the scale ref image and encode node. You can find it navigating in Animate Diff node menu under Gen 2 and Animate Diff LCM I2V. Connect the latent output to the Apply Animate Diff LCM node. The images and VAE are connected to this node. For the latent size, use the output from the VAE encode node. Change the scale method to Lanxos and disable the crop. The setup is not done yet. If we were to apply Animate LCM image to video only, the results would be rather blurry. We are going to use a second Animate Diff model. Place an Advanced Apply Animate Diff model node. The Animate LCM model is connected to the previous M model port of the new Animate Diff node. Connect the new node output M model to the use evolved sampling node. Load the Animate Diff version 3 model. We have two different Animate Diff models, but we are going to apply them at different time steps during sampling. The N% percent of Animate LCM is defined by dividing 1 by 6. We do this because we want to apply only time step of the steps we will use in the case sampler. Use the same value as a starting percent of the Animate Diff version 3 apply model. Connect a multival dynamic node to the scale multival port. Use a value of 0.8 and connect it to the other apply Animate Diff node. In the lower loader, use also a value of 0.8. In the sampler, fix the seed. For LCM, we need to use only 6 steps and a low CFG of 1.5. Use LCM as a sampler and DDIM uniform as scheduler. 
Set denoise strength to 0.5. Add a color match node and connect the new video frames and the reference frames. To compare results, we will use an image concatenate node and a preview animation node. Use a video combine node instead, if you want to save the video results. Don't forget to change the default prompt. We can use a simple description of the video. A helicopter flying over a cyberpunk city. If everything is ready, run the workflow. This method provides smoother textures and a more consistent animation. While the result is pretty good, details are lost with LCM. Let's try now the personalized image animator method. In short PI, we start again with the default workflow. Place a load video upload node and choose the helicopter video. Connect it to an image resize node. So far, the same as in the animate LCM image to video method. Set the width to 720 and height to 480. The upscale method is Lanxos. Select realistic vision as the checkpoint. Connect the video frames to a VE and code node. To this, connect also the VE from the checkpoint loader. The output latent is connected to the case sampler. In the positive prompt, write a description of the video. Still, exactly the same as before. Place now a use evolve sampling node from animate diff. Connect the model from the checkpoint loader to the use evolve sampling node. Connect the output model to the case sampler. Add standard uniform context options and leave the default values. Now, we will do something different. Search for the Apply Animate Diff PIA Model node. Connect the M model port of the Apply PIA Model node to use Evolved Sampling. Add an Animate Diff Model Loader and select the PIA Model. To the Apply PIA node, we also need to connect the reference images and the VAE. Connect the VAE from the Checkpoint Loader and the images from the Resize Image node. In the case sampler, fix the seed and set to 15 the number of steps. Reduce the CFG to 6. Select DPM++ SDS sampler and Keras as scheduler. Reduce the denoise strength to 0.6. Like in the previous method, you can now connect a color match node or use any other post-processing technique. As you see, the video to video method with PI is very simple. Only one animate diff model and no control it. The results are pretty good. Nice, smooth and consistent, with more detail than animate LCM. Not 100% perfect, but great to refine your AI videos. PI is also very good at improving flickery or inconsistent videos. We have here a video of a golden retriever made with COG Video X. The dog looks okay, but movement is blurry. With this workflow and the PIA model, we only need to change the prompt. A golden retriever playing over grass. The new video is smoother and more consistent. You can change settings to further improve the video. But as you see, PIA is a simple and yet effective method for refining. And that's all for today. In the next video we will show how to scale up and refine with SDXL and Hotshot. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.